All right, time for the bust yeah. up forecast. Yeah. How'd your dogs do last night yeah. with Halloween? Yeah, good. How about you guys? Oh, my dogs went crazy. They yeah. thought all they thought we were being in, invaded. Uh, sure, by yeah. trick or I, I put them on back in the bedroom, lock them up, and keep them way back there. That's great. They, they were a little rowdy, you betcha. And let's check out the bus stop weather out the door this morning. Sun comes up now, 7:52. It is a chilly start this morning. Kiddos will need a little jacket out the door this morning, but it's going to be another great day today. Warm conditions, mainly uh, sunny skies today, and temperatures up near 75. So get ready for what should be a great looking forecast here. Looking at our bus stop forecast. You know, the last seven days we had about an inch and a half, a little bit more than that in rainfall. That is great news. The rain that we had late October, we are now entering November and more rain chances coming up this Friday. Could see some spots, half an inch of rain, maybe as high as three inches. The way it's looked right now, the higher totals will be on the east sides of the state. So we will be uh, talking more about that here in just a little bit, but we're excited to talk about more chances for rain. Looking at your November averages, we typically see highs up near 70 to start off the month, but temperatures do fall this month from the 60s in the 50s and mid 50s to end the month. So right after Thanksgiving, we average about 55 and morning lows also fall. We average about 34. Now, as far as precip goes, this is actually the third driest month of the year. So we don't typically see a whole lot. So we're still in that drought going into this month with chances of rain or precip a little lower as far as the amounts go. We'll hope for the best on that. We average about 1.68. The highest total, 9.63. We can't see snow. The record is 7.5 inches back in 1972. And tornadoes are possible, rare but possible. We average about 1.5 in the state. 48 right now, southeast winds at 7 miles per hour. Looking down at the Skydance Bridge, a reach to see cam looks good here starting off this morning. 45 on that wind chill. So kids will need the jacket out the door this morning. Should rebound with highs back up in the 70s. We'll nose up to near 75 by afternoon. Don't forget, we'll beat the drum on in this for another uh, several days. That daylight saving time, it comes to an end this Saturday night. Make sure if you have any clocks you can set back, you'll need to set those back one hour here coming up this weekend. 40s, low 50s around starting off this morning. So quiet, cool start here in Oklahoma. Weather patterns shaping up really, as you see, most of the country is pretty quiet. There's a storm system to our south that's been producing some rain, some heavy rain down in the deep south of Texas. That's going to move away from us. That system's moving away. Lacey talked about here just a moment ago, the next storm arriving, that's going to roll on down through the Rockies on Thursday, setting up rain and some snow there. And then that storm system moves into the central plains. That cold front will be introduced with some Gulf moisture coming up. So the opportunity for some storms will develop near and behind that boundary as it shoves down into Oklahoma. As it moves in, rain, some of that rain will be heavy as it develops during the day on Friday. And that shifts on to the east. And the way the latest data shapes up for today, we thought it might be a, set for a Friday, Saturday event yesterday. Now it's looking more just like a Friday event with the rain chances shifting away on Saturdays. That will have an impact on your football games on Saturday. Look at our future cast coming up on Sunday. Another storm will move into the northwest parts of the country, and that will produce some colder air and some snow through the northwest parts of the country. Some mountain areas there will be watching that. May produce some showers here on Tuesday. Rain totals going up. You can see the higher totals expected on the eastern sides of the state. Western sides, about a half an inch. Looks pretty good there. Many spots, central Oklahoma up near an inch. And then there'll be some spots that pick up close to three, maybe three and a half inches in the eastern sides of the state. Now, a lot of folks are needing to do burning. If you have to do that today, there are a lot of counties that are back open for business. Burn bans have been dropped, but still in Oklahoma County. As of yesterday, Oklahoma County is still under a burn ban, so you cannot be burning here in the metro area in Oklahoma County. Here comes the severe weather Thursday night into Friday. That will shift across and shift into east Oklahoma Friday night. Again, some large hail. Winds gusty up near 70. There will be a low tornado chance as well. We'll be monitoring that. May see a few sprinkles early on Thursday, then some rain chance to develop. A few storms in the panhandle. Those roll down into Oklahoma fr by Friday morning and then shove across central into east Oklahoma Friday into Friday evening. And by Friday night, that rain and storm action moves on out and we'll be drawing it back out here for the weekend. There's your temperatures for today back up in the 70s. 70s will take us into the weekend as the chance of severe weather goes up on Friday. Don't forget, fall back to this weekend as we have a nicer forecast by Sunday. Lacey's Outdoor Forecast is coming up.